think it suits me right. I could get used to this. Welcome back to the Express at Suicidal Cycles brand new shop in Surrey. Now, owner and builder Jason Glatt considers these one of a kind mean machines works of art. And I agree. I think East Van resident Ken Gerberick would agree too. His passion is taking old car parts and turning them into unique pieces of art. Hidden among the heaps of old car collectibles is 67-year-old Ken Gerberick, a guy who for some reason loves junk. I particularly like rusty ones. What? I mean, I don't know. It's consumed a better part of his life, collecting old plates, emblems, anything to do with American car culture. Probably 50s or 60s Freightliner truck emblem. Um, they tried to do a, some kind of a test on me when I was about a year and a half old, and I didn't want any of the cookies. I didn't want anything but the toy car. I didn't care what color the car was. I just wanted it. That was the mid-40s. A nice red on blue municipal 64. Since then, Ken's amassed tens of thousands of car-related knickknacks spreading from wall to wall of this East Van workshop. When I first moved into this studio, the first thing I did was set up a chrome and neon installation. I love the way that chrome reflects neon. The lights are salvaged from local shops and restaurants, and the hubcaps, well, they're from all over the place. Let's see, 67 different makes and about 165 different styles of them. It's a 36 Buick um, hubcap. I like that Art Deco style a lot. But Ken isn't just a collector, he's an artist, the creator of distinctive works that pay homage to his life journeys. This one is made from roadside objects picked up during a trip to California. Um, it's a memory box. I pick up crap off the road and wherever anyway, because that's what I make art out of is just discarded things. He has pieces that light up, pieces that hang, even pieces that cover entire cars, called art cars. One way to get your art into the world is to put it on the car. The one with the logos has got 6,000. The 57 Pontiac with has got about 6,000 on it. That's a lot. That's a lot. But one question remains, why? Why spend your life scavenging through piles of garbage to create something few can truly appreciate? Well, because Ken is making a point. We have way too much stuff in this world. And to, you know, the, the cliche of, you know, reuse and recycle, because I find that really important just motivation for him to keep trucking as an artist and collector. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express. You can check out Ken's art at local galleries and on the road. He likes to drive his cars around town. Pretty awesome. You're watching The Express and up next is something else you don't see around town every day. Mad skills on a bike with one wheel. For most, Wheels are a form of transportation, and for Dal Fleischer, one wheel is all he needs. I have been a unicyclist for about six years. I took it up at the age of 55. This unicycle is a generically called a coker. Dal's a cycle enthusiast, but it took research from the library and a lot of practice to finally get the hang of riding a unicycle. He now tries to ride seven days a week. Good morning, my friend. There is no activity I could have taken up a number of years ago that would have brought as many smiles to as many faces because people generally enjoy seeing a unicyclist. And on a machine like this, if I'm riding for the day and I have lots of hills to go up during the day, then I would choose a longer crank. This retired 63-year-old travels a lot, sometimes unicycle in hand. Some of my happiest vacations are with the unicycle. It certainly has been to France, and I did a lot of nice unicycling in the river valleys in France. I've taken it several times to Florida and ridden long distances, uh, Mexico several times, and the United States several times. It's just a standard bicycle odometer computer, but it works well on this machine. But to him, nothing beats cycling in Vancouver. 
The Vancouver Seawall is a marvelous facility and I am fortunate to live just a couple of blocks from the seawall on a glorious day in June, July, August, which is when we tend to have them, uh, to get on the unicycle right from home and ride to the seawall and do 20, 30, maybe 40 kilometers on the seawall. Uh, and smile at the tourists and the locals and get exercise, fresh air. It's marvelous. That would be my perfect day. In Vancouver, I'm Melanie Panetta for The Express. In the warmer months, a group of Vancouver unicyclists meet every Wednesday near Science World and they invite new riders to come out and try this sport. You're watching The Express and we've got two more Hot Wheels off the beaten path up next. Great. RC car racing. It teaches you a little bit of everything from social skills to basic mechanics. There isn't anything it really doesn't teach you. The Fiat 500. So exciting electronically and, and the way it drives. The Express. We are your local voice. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by Hairstyling and color services for Shaw TV provided by The Lounge Hair Studio loungehairstudio.com Sartaccio, fila, fila, ma che vuoi fila? Senza punta la non può andare, troppo filo te l'ha fatto far, ed ora non puoi più filare. Hai filato giorno e notte con giacchette, pantaloni, sotto bestie, gonelloni, pura se. Welcome back to the Express at Suicidal Cycles in Surrey. Look at this machine. It's called Redemption, and rumor has it it can get up to 170 kilometers an hour. Definitely not something that you want to try yourself, right? But something you can do, RC car racing, also here in Surrey. Ten, five. Here at GoRC Racing, there's a wide range of people who race remote control cars. Chris Walton owns and runs the company, but he doesn't do it to make money and it's not even his full-time job. Uh, full-time, I'm a heavy-duty mechanic and fabricator. Um, been doing that for about five years. Uh, and uh, the reason why I started this was to pretty much help the community and to kind of have a place where we're helping somebody and you can kind of hang out after work. It's kind of like the cool down period. Most people start businesses to make money, but Chris, well, he started his because he wanted to provide a safe and fun place for people to hang out. To set up a place like this would help other people as an aspect of, you know, if they don't want to go out and party with their friends and get drunk, uh, you know, when they're 16, 17 years old, they can come here, hang out. Wednesday nights here are for open practice, and it's open to people of all skill levels. Uh, anybody can come in, drop in, have a good time. Um, you know, everybody gets along. It's pretty much uh, open practice. It's the easiest way to explain it. All sorts of cars, all sorts of guys uh, between, you know, 7 years old to 65 years old. One of the regulars here is Corgi Scales, who's been racing since he was 12 years old. He says RC racing teaches much more than how to drive a little car. It teaches you a little bit of everything from social skills to basic mechanics to geometry to um, you know, hand-eye coordination. Um, there isn't anything it really doesn't teach you. After watching the regulars take on the track, I took a crash course of my own in RC racing and I challenged Chris to a race. On your marks, yep. get set, go! Oh boy. <laughs> and once your tires heat up too, you'll be doing a lot better. You'll that's, see. That's my problem right now. My tires are cold. 
that's, I'm totally in it. I, I think that's exactly what's going on. The, the best thing is just to get around the track. That's the most important thing. Yeah. I think I've done that once. I'm, I'm getting there, yeah. I'm glad there's no pedestrians around. Mini little pedestrians. It's kind of a blind corner there, but uh, <laughs> kind of got to wing it. You actually just hit me, I think. Is what I don't know. I, I didn't see anything. <laughs> Pretty sure uh, I didn't do that, though. That would be uncalled for. Things aren't going so well for me here. again there, Chris. Well, pretty sure it's uh, fair to say you won fair and square, so <laughs> thanks for the lesson. Not a problem anytime, Peter. Chris says whether he makes money or not, he'll continue Nine to do this, because he's just here to give people a positive environment to be in. Uh, I simply do it just because it, it's something that I, I believe that's helping, and it's not just helping the kids, it's helping the racers, because, you know, it gives them a break from going to work every day, and they have something to come to, to actually hang out and enjoy. It kind of gives them something to look forward to. I'm Peter Verge in Surrey for The Express. At RC Car Racing in Surrey, they don't just have a car racing track, but they also have a helicopter racing obstacle track up on the ceiling. You're watching The Express, and you'll probably recognize this next set of wheels because it's currently featured in a Jennifer Lopez video, My World. The Fiat 500 was relaunched in 2007, but it just arrived in Vancouver. <coughs> The Fiat 500 is a car with style, speed, and definitely an element of fun. I could get used to driving this car. I think the biggest thing about the Fiat 500 is just the excitement that it brings to everyone the minute they look at it, and then even more so when they drive it. And then as they find out about all the things that it includes, although it's a small car, it has so much in it that's so exciting electronically and, and the way it drives. This is the first time we've actually had a, a European car that's actually an Italian style car in this price range in a long time. Um, so that's attracted a lot of attention. A lot of people want to see what it's all about, um, how the quality is, what they're getting. Super fun to drive, smooth steering, tons of power. I think I see myself in an Italian car. And when you drive a Fiat, you're taking a spin through history. The Fiat 500 originally started in the 50s in Italy, and it was the vehicle of transportation for everyone. The Fiat 500 was reborn in the uh, 2008 as the, and at that time won the Car of the Year award. And for those of you into the mechanics of it all, the Fiat 500 stands out for another reason. This is the only car that actually has a, uh, a multi-air engine, which actually means you get more power and better fuel economy for the size of the engine. It's only a 1.4 liter, uh, but it makes 101 horsepower and 98 pound-feet of torque. So it's quite reasonable, especially for the size of the car, and it's quite light. Um, so it might not seem like a lot of power, but it definitely moves. We're gonna see just how fast this can go. Just what you want, whether you're test driving or buying your own Fiat 500. In Vancouver, I'm Kendall Harris for The Express. The Fiat of Vancouver dealership is on Main Street near Terminal if you're looking to take a test drive. We also have some other ideas to keep you moving with today's Express Spotlight. You can get fit while reducing your carbon footprint by biking to work. This fun competition between workplaces helps to create healthy change for our cities and our bodies. This non-contact two-hour session of roller skating is ideal for women who want to learn to roller skate and want to learn roller derby skills. Babes in strollers and their grown-ups can discover hidden treasures on a walking exploration of public art and public space in the Yaletown neighborhood. And that's it for today's Express Hot Wheels special from Suicidal Cycles' brand new shop in Surrey. We'd love to hear what you thought of today's show. So you can find us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, send us an email. And you know what? This week I even got snail mail. Now we're going to close the show with some bicycle-themed art. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.